It's absolute insanity what you are able to do. And you're doing a lot of it on, a, a lot of these stunts are on hard ice, incredibly hard ice. And I'm thinking if you slip up, you can get seriously hurt. Do you wear padding when you do this? Um, and like I wear a helmet. So you wear a helmet and then nothing else. I would be wrapped in just pillows if I was doing what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, you're totally allowed to. I just, I don't know, I don't. I think it would, like, not really help. Really? No. At the speeds you're going and hitting hard ice, no amount of padding is gonna make a difference, right? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're going fast, you're airing high out of the half pipe or hitting a jump or whatever. I feel like if you fall, I mean. I don't, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think pillows are gonna make the difference. Right. I'm still going with pillows when I compete. Yeah, well. Uh, uh, you have had many injuries. Can you just rattle off some of the injuries you've had? Uh, yeah, I'm recovering. I just recovered this season from a broken femur and I blew my knee and then I've broken my sternum, collarbone, wrists, tibia, fibia. Right. Yeah, concussion. I chipped this tooth in the back. <laughs> I'll show you later. It was yeah. peanut brittle. <laughs> Don't go near peanut brittle is what I would say to you. I'll steer clear. You actually fear one of the events that you're in, right? There's, you, yeah. It gives you, it, 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 it fills you with the same uh, a dread, and that is the half pipe, is that right? It scares you. Yeah. Can we uh, show, you can talk over this, but this is you doing the half pipe, and what are you thinking at that moment right there? I don't know, you're kind of not, well you can see how I just barely kind of clipped the deck, the corner of um, where it goes from the flat wall. Yeah, that was a mistake, I'd have, I'd have done that differently, yeah. Yeah, well, it, was, it, it was a mistake, but when you're going really high, if you clip that, I mean it's like solid ice, so um, it can kind of buck you into the middle of the half pipe, and the walls are 22 feet tall, so if you air 20 feet out and then you clip the corner, you're falling like 42 feet with a little bump in the middle. and You just talked me out of this sport. Uh, <laughs> you know, on that last clip, I think you can see as you're backing up, there's a sh you have a giant bruise yeah. on your back. Is that, that's, that's, that's from probably a pre just a previous event or was yeah, that completely that... unrelated? <laughs> no, it's, it's, I mean, like all season long, I'll have stuff like that going on on my legs and my back and. Just, just deal with it. Yeah, it kind of comes with the, comes with the territory. I say one of your ways of dealing with your fear is singing while you ski, is that right? I do. Um, I am just gonna interject because I thought we were gonna talk about the skiing, and, or the singing. I went to karaoke last night mm -hmm. um, at Akbar in Silver Lake and I was with, uh, my, my boyfriend does Broadway, I was with another guy that does Broadway. Apparently everyone in LA is a professional singer. <laughs> so I, um, I am never- You didn't know this. I am never doing karaoke again. Right. <laughs> People get up and they're like, this is my chance to get a job. Like, yeah, We're it's right. not like karaoke in other cities. No, it's not. Like in, like in Denver, you can like throw up on the stage and it's like, you did such a good job, that was amazing. <laughs> like, I went and I had like four people come up to me afterwards and they're like, that was so courageous that you sang. Like, and I was like, thank you. I appreciate that. And like, it was, I, it was, it was like oh, no. kind of a gay bar and a bunch of the guys came up and they're like, it's really good that you're, you're cute, that you're lucky you're cute. And I'm like, oh my God, was it that bad? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll never sing at karaoke again. Um, I've actually been with people who are really good singers and you, you just feel like you just ruin it for everybody that's there. There's just people that are like, I'm not even signing up again. <laughs> well, I know, and I'm, I feel like I'm, generally like just so competitive that I, I kind of have a hard time doing things that I'm so bad at. But I was like, it's fun, it's karaoke. Everyone loves karaoke. People don't love karaoke if you're not good at it. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't go up. Don't go up. Kid, if up. you're watching kids, this is important. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> it's funny. This is not what I thought would end up <laughs> talking about. What you're, what you're warning children again. Yeah. Forget going 20 feet in the air. Don't do karaoke. Karaoke. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Wasn't that a great clip? Subscribe to my YouTube channel for an endless supply of me. <laughs> Ugh.